segment of our show a special comment on a particular story we have out there shedding a new spotlight on the phenomenon Chisakedi the challenger we are going to share developing news about the recent happenings that set a stage to the long-time Congo opposition frontrunner and challenger to President Joseph Kabila the incumbent to face off on the November 2011 elections Mr. Etienne Chisekedi Wamulumba, the 30 years resilient political activist and opposition leader in the DR Congo, closely looking into the matter, we just found out that this gentleman's name, if Googled on the English version of Google, will actually lead you only to news articles that came from way back in 1996 and 1997. Is that to say that the man doesn't know how to drive a political crowd? Is that to say that the man is not a good campaigner or a good strategist? We don't know. Can we argue that the Western media, to be precise, the English written or spoken media, neglects stories about him when they've been covering stories about Congo for all along? Well, those are kind of uh, questions that we can have answers during this commentary that I will propose to you, ladies and gentlemen. So all these questions, we're going to talk about it because CBNX want to make sure that we set the stage for the next debate we're going to be conducting in our studio with a live audience and with also some of the political leaders from the PPRD, the political party in power, and then the UDPS, the major opponent in the opposition in Congo. So this is coming up next and you're going to have that on CB Next Alive. But talking about Mr. Etienne Chisekedi, he happened to be a serious challenger to President Kabila, presenting himself as the voice of the 2012 political choice to power in a country where six million of people died and as a result of a foreign invasion that was added to a humanitarian tragedy with thousands of refugees and displaced citizens. The DR Congo is a vast territory with 85 world companies exploiting minerals that are being traded every day versus the innocent blood of villagers. And then also we have to talk about the rape of thousands of women by armed militias, warlords, and even more by some of the UN peacekeepers as it was announced in the news, in the news lately. So while the State, the State Department is actually publishing a travel advisory like months ago to show people that it is dangerous to go in Congo, it is really important to notice that there's no position in the diplomacy and there's no policy uh, position by the United States on what it needs to take to have transparent and fairness election in Congo. So that's the reason why we're going to stay tune and make sure that the elections is monitored and then everything that is happening there is covered. That is our duty at CB Next Live and we will do it. Mr. Etienne Chisekedi came to Washington DC last July on a visit that made him the main speaker at the CSIS, which is the Center for Strategies and International Studies. And when he came to Washington DC, he met with US officials, and then headed to Europe, passing through the cities of Brussels, of The Hague uh, in the Dutchland, and then he went down to Johannesburg, South Africa. He stopped also in the province of Katanga, in the city of Lobombashi, and then the cities of Kalemie. And from there, he went back to Congo. This is amazing to see, like you can see on this footage that are going through, we had this 70-something year old man walking down the streets from the airport all the way to the stadium in Kinshasa, the capital. Everywhere he stopped, huge crowds of Congolese supporters showed up at the airport arrivals halls, at the hotels, conference rooms, or at the train stations. They came by hundreds and thousands to meet their leaders and to show him their supports. In Lubumbashi, he actually spoke in a press conference in the district of Manika in Kolwezi, where he said that he is the real opposition because the young in politics have to come towards the elders. Given what he did in Katanga, 
he told Radio Okapi that he is sure to do up to 100% in the elections. On that last stop, before returning to Congo, he was greeted by another mass of supporters at the stadium of Martyrs in the capital city of Kinshasa. It is really no, uh, 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 credible to say here that this stadium has 80,000 people and all those 80,000 people were chanting, cheering and showing their leaders their signs of solidarity and love. When we come back from this news, we're going to talk about the news that no one is talking about. This is the last segment of our show. But ladies and gentlemen, I just want to announce you that when we talk about that segment, we will bring in a long-time friend, but also a news talk show uh, called Mr. Saeed Dibinga from Los Angeles, California. He will come in into the show on the, radio, on the phone where he's going to talk about an issue that we're going to develop during this segment, which is the Walmart ad, and then also he will talk about Kagame visit in France and in the United States. So stay tuned. We're coming right back for the news that no one is talking about on CBNX Live. Yeah. <laughs> 